if you're a home seller, a home buyer, then um, you will be pleased to know, I guess, that uh, you know how when you sell or buy a house, the, the realtors basically say, look, there's 6% commission, 3% on the buyer, 3% on the seller. And that's just the way it is. That's, that's how all realtors agreed to that. The Realtors Association uh, has uh, basically mandated that for all realtors. And this is how we run things. And it's, it's 6%. And, and I think I've negotiated down a little bit from that in California because there was huge numbers of realtors. They were just everywhere. And, and you could get a little bit of competition going. But generally... There's no competition in this space. The 6% has just been how it is, and it's been like this for decades. Well, anyway, uh, people have sued. They've sued, sadly, under antitrust laws. Now, I think that's always bad to use those kind of laws. But in this case, the National Association of Realtors, in a sense, has a government grant and monopoly, right? They, 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 uh, you have to be a licensed realtor to sell, to be a licensed realtor. I think you have to be a member of the National Association of Realtors. And uh, National Association of Realtors, which represents a million realtors, uh, has, uh, has now agreed in a settlement in court uh, versus a group of homeowners. They've agreed uh, basically uh, to pay $418 million of damages. And uh, they've agreed to eliminate rules on commissions that... That is, they are going to allow commissions to float. Commissions will be whatever you as a home buyer, a home seller, negotiate with your realtor. Um, they have also agreed to a bunch of, um, a bunch of you know, changes uh, uh, to the rules. Um, and uh, so expect kind of a, a different dynamic when you're buying and selling a home moving forward. Uh, I think this will create indeed more competition. It'll create more options uh, in terms of buyers and sellers. Uh, and um, it, it's it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting to watch. Right? Uh, people expect uh, estimates, expect commissions to drop maybe 25 to 50%. That's a lot of money. A million dollar home, a commission was... $60,000, $60,000 in a million dollar home. If it drops to 30,000 and the buyers and sellers are saving 30,000, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, I think this is good. I, I expect to be buying selling in the future and uh, I'm happy to pay less to realtors. Um, I'm not sure they did, see, they added 6% of value and certainly you know, in a competitive market, you know, it just seems like every home in California is a million dollar home, is sixty thousand dollars, thirty thousand to each side. Does that really make sense? They do thirty thousand dollars worth of work. Now, one of the things that will happen is commissions will go down, the number of retailers, realtors will go down because you know it won't be as profitable. And commissions will probably creep up again. So they probably won't go back to 6%. But while you might see a big drop early on, uh, you're probably not going to see a, a big drop uh, later on, right? You'll probably see a big drop early on. Um, but um, I doubt that you would see... Uh, I, doubt, I, I think a lot of that will bounce back, so... I don't think you're going to see it drop to 3%. I think you'll probably see 4 or 5% uh, ultimately settle after there is, in a sense, a, um, you know, a lot of realtors will leave the, the profession. So we'll see how that plans out.